Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamerSeries.com, and today we'll be going over where to find all of the Trianda relics. I'm sure I butchered that, but there's three statues and we gotta find them. Let's get started. Alright, Ida will be the first relic. It is found here, Costa de Mar, up near the uh, little village here. Walk by it and you will unlock it. Check the... Uh, Thing to activate it. I don't know if you have to, but you might as well, right? There's no point in getting it without it. From there, we're going up. Climb up to the top. Keep going. I'm going to keep the video going just to make sure you guys have the right path because it can get a little confusing in this one. It's a lot of zip lines. It's not hard. It's just a little annoying. So just we're going to keep climbing up. Actually, if you had a helicopter, you could probably just fly right to the top, but just in case, follow my steps. And in case you didn't know, you can climb those vines, which was a surprise to me when I first did it. It's obvious when you look at it, but I mean... Anyways, keep on the path. Here's the cave. And of course, drop down. I don't think it's too dark, but I can't activate the flashlight manually, so it is what it is. Keep going. If you want to grab the notes, you can. Alright, zip line, drop, zip line. That's the trick to this whole thing, pretty much. Drop X, drop X, drop X. Pretty much. I'm going to fall eventually, so don't worry. If you, if you fall, you can still make it through. You just might have to reset some. Yep, one, two, three, baby. See, the arrows will always point you the right direction. Uh, yeah. That was a bit overkill on my part, but you know. This way, we will climb up. Check the note if you if you care. Excuse me. I thought about going that way, but it's uh, actually this way. If you had taken another zip rope, it would have been that way. Arrows pointing this way, so that's the way we're going. Grapple. Destroy this first. Jump. Try to grapple that. I, uh, I, I, I jump and try to grapple a lot and mess up. Like right there. I think it should just be press square. But you can just look up and do this, so. Down. Jump up. You know it goes. Drop. Grab. One more. Drop. Grab. That one's a little tricky. But we're getting close. Climb up. Climb up again. And then jump over here. That part reminds me of Dying Light. You do that a lot in Dying Light. Which is a good game, by the way. Uh, up. Again, try to make sure you actually grapple before you jump, as I did not. And you can't reach it from there. But as I'm sure you saw, there was a ladder. So what you're basically going to do, if you fall like I did, if you don't make it, you're just going to run across. You might have to do some swimming, but ain't a big deal. Mm, nice and slow. Jump up here. Almost there, I promise. Up, up. Left. I that jumping stuff is not as reliable as it should be for how often you need to do it. Jump over here. And when you finally see the purple mist, that is your relic. Do not forget the chest. That's right. And now there's only three more. Next one is Mimo Abosi's Trienda relic right here on the map in La Joya. You will probably need to take out some AA guns to get here. But it will unlock as soon as you get there. All right, so the treasure is in like an abandoned quarry. This one's actually pretty easy. Uh, you can break this now if you want. You don't have to. You're going to do it eventually. Break that. And then from there, turn around. Now we're heading up to this. It's locked, so we got to go around to the back. Shoot the uh, windows out. And we got to go in here because we need the key. Otherwise, you're going to have to go all the way back, which is... Uh, uh, and the key is... Don't forget this chest. He is right there. Grab that. You open something important? It doesn't open this, oddly enough. I don't know how you open that now that I think about it, but you don't need to because you don't need to come back. Anyways, 
run back and uh, before before we go into the mine we do need to take out this generator and the way to do that head down man i did not realize how many vultures were there around here jeez i guess it makes sense bust this board shoot it hack it whatever you want to do pull the plug powers down now we're making a mad dash in we go follow the line go underwater obviously you would have died if you didn't disable the generator here. Heading up. And this is why you need the key. Because you have to activate the fan right here. And from there, you drop down into the shaft where the poison gas just cleared out. And pretty much, you probably don't need to keep watching at this point because you're going to figure it out. You go from here, boom, inside of here. Guess what? There's your triad relic and the ceiling will basically open up so you can grapple out. Do not forget the chest in the back though. Last one, we have Oko's Trianda Relic. This one is unique because it has to be nighttime as I found out when I went there in the day. If it's not night, then it will not be open. And to my knowledge, if you know how, please leave a comment. I don't think you can fast forward time in this or, you know, make it day and night like you can do in Assassin's Creed. So go do something else until it gets nighttime, nice. if not. Once it's night, it's pretty obvious that the thing is working because it'll be lit up and some fireworks will go off when you get there. So there you go. The door will be open. Head inside. Okay. And basically that's there's good. only one room that's open currently. Run by all the mirrors and only one of them will not break, which will obviously leave you with one to break. Break it, hit the switch. That will open up a door across the room, or across the hall, whatever you want to call. Through there. Okay. What's really going on here? You have three switches and a bunch of TVs. Now you're gonna hit the center switch first. You can read the note if you care, but center switch first. Left. Lastly, right switch. Better go see what that was. That actually opens up something upstairs. Now, head upstairs. You can hear the piano because that's where you're going. And yeah, basically what you're going to do up here is read this note right here. And then look down at the piano and play it, I guess. I don't know. I hit I hit the activate button and then he automatically did it. Maybe it's just looking at the keys or pushing up against the keys because he's doing it by himself. I didn't do anything. And this will open the door. And... Yep, well said, Danny. Get yourself a key, a dungeon key, and guess what? We're going down to the dungeon. Grab the parts if you want. Hmm, well. yeah, I wonder what's done that well, too. Foreshadowing much? Is that my chicken? Why do I always find myself in rats? Come in through on, here. Uh, Tons of rats. Hombres. Plague story. Grab supplies, hit that switch. That would be some answers down there. Your relic will, of course, be down there once we get over there. Grapple out. Head down. See the purple mist? Yep, obviously that's where we're going. Jump down. Grapple down. That's my recommendation. I'm sure you've fallen to your death many times. I think there's actually water, but I, I don't trust it. Fall damage kills me so much in this game. First thing we will do is detach to grab this chest, because why not? Maybe you have to kneel for it. And then that is over there, which means you need to jump down right down here we're gonna grapple up here and use the grapple basically to climb our way up to the relic which is right there jump grab it and from there you'll basically get the position of where you need to turn them in head to the map marker and inside is where you put all the relics put them right there boom that will reveal the path to one of the last amigos and one of the last uh salvo weapons Maybe that's not what it's called, but it's... Man, I can't remember what the weapons are called, but... 
There's one of the things that you put on your back and you use a special in here. It like reveals where all the enemies are. It's real. All of it. Keep going. Activate that chest. You will have a fight with the panther. Defeat the panther. Revive it. And it will join you. And this quest will be completed. But that will do it for me. The rest is up to you. If you liked what you saw and got what you needed. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.